Alrighty, here's kind of a surprise video review. I wasn't expecting these, but they showed up. And uh, they're actually really kind of cool. Uh, these are from a company called Lucky Rogers. As you see over here. Um, the add-on junk armor. This is O1W. Includes the warrior head. The uh, spiked shoulder armor times two. Photon rifle times one. Chest armor times one. Spike shield times one. Spiked knee armor times two. And... The, selling po the big selling point, all accessories store in vehicle mode. It's adult collectible. Be good. Um, yeah, the Junk Armor 01 Warrior set for uh, your Junkions. And opening up, you've got a plastic tray here. You've got the chest shield, the head, the two times spiky knee armor, the two times shoulder armor, the gun, and the shield, as promised. Um, now, I reviewed the Made in Japan sets. Uh, not too long ago, and they're nice sets. They add a lot of detail. Um, the one weak point of them was that they were made out of resin, and the little, if you remember, the little tab on my shield broke off. Um, I could have been more careful with it. Uh, but it, but it is still, you know, just, this is generally a flaw of resin. This is not as sturdy as plastic. These are molded in plastic, so there's a little bit of a, you've got a little bit more leeway. You don't have to be quite as gentle with it. Um, but yeah, the shield just plugs on. Well, before we get the shield, let's do the head first. First, we're going to get rid of this lollipop here. We do not need this. It's still on in vehicle mode, but we're not going to use it for display. Um, pop the head off. Popping the head off, very easy. Popping the new head on. Can be a little difficult. But uh, we'll try to do it as painlessly as possible. So we kind of hold this down and oh, snap it into place. There we go. So new, new head is now on. Now you take the, uh, actually let's do the shoulder armor. Shoulder armor. Uh, has spikes, a ridge, and there's a little tab in here that plugs right into these slots here on the side. So we just take this, slide it on. Spikes facing forward, snap it onto the shoulder. Do the same on this side as well. Put it in there, line it all up properly, snap it on. And you got the chest piece. Uh, just like the Made in Japan set, it goes over these missiles, and it also clips in here in this little uh, ball joint opening here. You see this piece plugs in right there. So you just got to line it up, and it takes a little bit of finesse to line it up. But you line it up, slide it on. Uh, again, got to line it up properly. And once it's on, there you go, just push it in. So see this piece just snaps right into that little hole in the bottom. Snaps right over there. Um, knee armor. There is two... Go ahead and just dump these out. Two different types. Uh, the one that looks like this and the one with the clip. The one that looks like this slides... Uh, you can see it's molded to fit that little knee piece. You just slide it right over. The piece with the clip... As you can see, just clips right on to the knee. Ta-da! Uh, then he can hold his gun. And as mentioned, the shield uh, by the same mechanism pegs right in here, here on his arm. And there he is. There he is, all armored up. Now, the one the one thing you'll notice that is missing on this versus the Made in Japan kit is he doesn't have the, the extra waist piece here. I think a little bit of extra bulk down here is nice, but um, again, I, I, I mean, I guess the way they worked everything else, they may have been able to make that attach in vehicle mode. Um, but it's not the be all end all of the set. It's, he still looks cool. It, it, it modifies your junkie on a little bit, gives him a little bit of a different look, and um, and it's generally pretty cool. Um, also, if you don't want to have him using the shield, you can pop it off, and it also has a clip right here. You can clip it right here onto the back. You can just clip it right there and have it. Uh, and you can have it just kind of sit there on his back. Also an option. So yeah, there, there it is in robot mode. Um, very cool. I like I like the look of this cannon. Um, now there is this is the warrior kit. There is a uh, secondary kit, the the O one M for medic. Um, I'll show you that one real quick. Um, this one, this one, I'm not doing the full review because uh, the head was missing from the package. The head's on the way. 
Uh, these are review samples, but uh, there is a new head. You can see he's got the red visor here versus the uh, versus the uh, the non-visored face here. Um, but also in the package comes uh, instead of the gun, he comes with a wrench here and a welding torch because he's the medic, so he can fix fix repairs. Other than that, he's got the same spiked. Uh, shoulder pads and armor and shield and chest piece. You can see it's the same uh, chest piece there. Which is fine. Um, it really depends on how you want to display them because he does have the different weapons. And a different head. Uh, so if you get both sets, you can swap them. You can just swap out the heads and the weapons however you wish. Um, now it does, like, as I mentioned before, it does store in vehicle mode, which is a huge bonus. I'll get to that. I'm not going to bother transforming this junkie on, on camera because he's fiddly. Give me a second. We'll get the uh, bike into robot into bike mode, and then we'll show off how everything attaches uh, in vehicle mode. And here we are in bike mode. Now, uh, as you can see, um, so, since I didn't want to take it off and then have to unpeg the bike mode to plug it back in, uh, the chest piece just stays right on, and as well as the head, it just folds up like always. Um, I guess you could turn it around if you. Uh, no, maybe not. Can you get it around there? You can't turn it around if you don't want it, the face showing. So yeah, there, you got that option. But the chest plate just sits right back there. Um, it does still allow the wheel to turn here in the back. Now it's close. There's a little. I mean, it can rub if you don't get everything lined up properly. But it does still transform in a way that allows the wheel to turn and still allows the uh, this to clip on through there. Then uh, standing up again. Now these pieces. Here is one. You want to set this up so it's facing uh, actually facing backwards. With, uh, so the hollow point is facing forward with the spikes out to the side. And then you take one of the knee pieces and these, uh, these yellow grooves here on the side of the knee piece, which are detail, also function as pieces that allow you to press them into, the, uh, into this piece to form uh, these little spiky sidebar things, which then clip over the top of this and then this tab pegs right in here. So you just clip it over the top of this, slide it down, and peg it right in there. And it adds a little bit of spiky armor to the bike itself. Uh, you do the same on this side. Peg this right in. Clip it over. And tab it on. And there you go, there's that. So it bulks up the bike a little bit as well. This back here, you can... uh pull this piece out, again with a clip, clip it right on here to the back of the bike. And this one's a little tighter clip, so you do kind of have to push to get it on there. But, uh, come like this too. But, uh, yeah, once you get it clipped on, come on, Clippy. Mm, come on. There we go, clip that on uh, and have it so, uh, and once it's clipped on, you can rotate it, but rotate it so it goes down and plugs in like that and just kind of sits on the back as like an extra shield or just something on the back of the bike, but it stores. Um, and then this gun, you can clip onto either, wherever you can find a place, you can clip it onto either the rails here on top of the, the sidebars. And it's got the standard 5mm clip, so you can use it with any of the other characters that can do that. And then he's got a gun here on the side of his vehicle mode. You can flip it up or have it sitting out like this. Or his arm should be sitting a little closer in anyway. Um, and now you've got a nice spiky armored bike utilizing all the pieces <clears throat> from the armor set. So it, it, it stays on in both modes. That's really nice. That's a huge bonus in the fact that if you want to have if you want to have some junky in bikes or if you want to have them riding each other, if you have more than one, you can do so and still have uh, all the armor attached, you know, have a place for it. Um, so that's really cool. Um, and like I said, the, uh, this guy has the gun that you can peg on whatever up here. This guy has the blow torch, or the welding torch, which you could snap on down here as a different exhaust pipe. Uh, this could snap on as well on one of the other uh, clips as well as a gun, because it does kind of have the gun look to it. But it's supposed to be there. You can see the wrench tool. Um, I'll, I'll do a full review of the medic kit uh, when the head gets here as well, just to show off how, how the different things look. But, um, but yeah, these are the Lucky Rogers uh, 
add-on junk armor. There's O1M, which like I said, we'll be doing soon, and the one we saw most of, the O1W for the Warrior, which comes with the gun and the non-visored head instead of the visored head and the ratchet and welding torch. But uh, a very, very cool set. Um, a very sturdy set. And just, like, I, I really like, I really like this armored bike. I think that looks cool, and I can't, now, now I need to go get another junkie on. One, to use the armor on, the, the other armor on, and have them displayed together. And two, so I can have one riding the other, because that's really cool. But there you go, uh, the junk armor uh, add-on kit from Lucky Rogers.